Hi guys, welcome to my video on how to deal with shock train. So before we get into it, these are the things that you need to know about shock trains. So shock train is an energy weapon that can bypass energy shield. It's got up to seven charges. The reload time is three to 11 seconds. And at 11 second, it would have seven charges. At three second, it would only have one charge. It's an in instant damage weapon. It's got chain damage up to 150 meters and shock trains can reach up to 500 meters. So if you're already in a short range bot, I would advise you to use your surrounding as your cover and elevation to cut off shock train angles. This player misses me. So instead of sitting back now, I have all this time to get close to this player to take him out. So similarly, Knowing that Shock Train has 11 seconds to reload, I was able to utilize that time to take this player out. Also look out for your teammate engaging with another Shock Train player. That player will be focused on your teammate, so you will be able to get closer to him and rush him to take him out. So this time I was using the Lancelot's physical shield in order to block the shock train shots and I was able to just catch him while he was running cover to cover. Eco shield is another item that you can customize and put it on your robot to use it as a physical shield to block out shock train. So anticipating where shock train players would like to go, I've utilized Hellburner's speed in order to get up to the roof of this spaceship on Dreadnought and then I was able to spot him and I was able to rush him. Fullworks defense mechanism is another way to counter shock train builds. But it is important that you follow the shock train player when he's out in the open. On bigger maps, using a weapon that can entirely outrange shock train is another efficient way to set up your hangar. So it is important when you're in the setup you prioritize shock train builds. So since many shock trains are ran on Spectre to maximize its damage, weapons like Chimera, Spiral, and Hydras would be the perfect counter for it since you're shooting behind the cover, being able to avoid direct shots. So before you drop into a game, locating shock train builds before you pick a robot would allow you to run counter builds. So the next two clips shows two tips. First of all, don't stay clustered. As you just saw right now, the chain damage just hit four guys. So the next tip will be utilizing the healing bot. So the healing bot does opposite of what shock train does. Shock train damages multiple players. On the other hand, healing bot heals multiple players. But look out for healing bots and make sure you're within the perimeter. So if you drop into a game, I would advise you to look for any healing bots. If you own a healing bot, I would advise you to find players that have been hit by shock trains to heal them. So 
So some of these tips are obvious to you guys. I hope it helps some of you. And if you have other tips that are useful, drop it into the comment section below. Uh, thank you guys for watching my video. And I hope you guys have a great day. See you guys.